I have a couple questions for you since you already introduced who you are and everybody knows that you are a retina specialist and you help people, you know, not lose their vision. So let's talk about the core correlation in between diabetes and the vision loss. All right. So what is diabetic macular edema and can D and can DME lead to permanent vision loss? So DME is swelling in the retina. So when mm -hmm. you get diabetes, you get leaky blood vessels that accumulate yeah. fluid and the retina is like a camera film. So, so if the camera film is affected with the fluid, people start to see blurry. Diabetes damages the blood vessels all around your body. And same thing goes in the eye. So the camera film starts to accumulate fluid and you start seeing blurry vision. That's one. The number two is you also get hemorrhages in your retina, which also makes the retina not function well. So the most important thing is to control the blood sugar so that you don't get that damage. Yeah, of course. So would you so would you say that eye floaters and all that stuff is like a sign that you may be leaning towards that? So eye floater, it could be just a gel in your eye or bleeding in the eye. So anytime you have new floaters, you need to see the retina specialist to get it checked out. It could be retinal detachment. It could be from diabetes or other cause. The most common, uh, you know, um, symptom of diabetes is blurry vision slowly in the center. Actually, diabetes, in most cases, don't have any symptoms in the eye until it's too late. So that's why it's important to get oh, okay. your eyes checked before yeah. it's too late and you start getting symptoms. So an annual eye exam is recommended for, for all the patients with diabetes so that yeah. we can keep an eye on the retina. Okay. So tell us what... Um, what can people do to protect their eyesight over time? Well, many things a diabetic can do. Number one, control the blood sugars. If yeah. you don't control your blood sugars, you're gonna end up with damage. It takes a long time to damage the eye. So number one. Number two, see your primary care eye doctor, whether it's an optometrist, ophthalmologist, to, to make sure that you get a dilated eye exam. A lot of times now they're using artificial intelligence to get photos in primary care doctor's offices to see if there is any diabetes. So any way yeah. to get the eyes checked once a year is super important because if you have retinopathy, that doesn't mean you're gonna go blind. We just need to make sure we keep an eye on it and yeah. stop it from getting worse. But the number one key thing is to control the sugars and blood pressure. Okay, okay, awesome. So does race and ethnicity play a role in the severity or the vision outcomes if you do suffer from DME? Well, what we see is that patients with underrepresented minorities actually get diagnosed late in the disease course. So mm. if you are gonna be diagnosed late in the disease course, you will end up with worse outcomes. So the key is that we need to make sure that diagnosis happens early, but in African-American and Hispanic Latinos, we know that the diagnosis is actually happening much later than it should. So it's important to make sure that we have uh, the diagnosis and dilated eye exam done every year once you're diagnosed with diabetes. Yes, yes. So when you, um, do you see this common because of the social and economic disparities in, in between the white counterparts versus, you know, people of color? Is that the reason why? Because they don't have, you know, the the access that most people would have to uh, to medical information or medical education, for an instance. That's is, is that one of the re reasons? Yeah. Yeah, education is super important. There's a lag there. Also, access to healthcare. Yes. Uh, as you know, like access to healthcare is super important, and when you are underrepresented, it's hard to get access. So. It's and you as an influencer have a big role and a duty yes. to and keep up the good work you are doing. I, I followed you and you're doing amazing work. So make sure you keep up the good work in educating people about diabetes and what it can do because it's a disease that if you take care of it, you will not go blind. Yes, yes, sir, yeah. Well, thank you so much for those kind words, man. I really, really appreciate that, brother. Um, so tell us what kind of doctor especially if you have diabetes, do you need to see to keep your eyes healthy? I know you mentioned seeing an optometrist, right? 
you can see an optometrist who are yeah. regular eye doctors. You can find them in the mall or at a glasses store. You can see ophthalmologists who are medical doctors. So I'm an ophthalmologist with a subspecialty extra training in retina. So, yeah. so I don't need to see you if you don't have problems. I'm usually seeing patients who are actually causing a lot of trouble with their eyes. So yeah. you will see a primary. So best way to do this is to go through your uh, primary care uh, diabetic doctor. They will refer you to an optom optometrist or ophthalmologist to get your eyes checked. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So one of the last questions that I have, because I know you have to leave in two minutes, we have to go and head over to a, another live. But what are the major risk factors for DME? I know we said blood sugar and blood pressure. Are there any more that can possibly affect it? Well, diet and exercise being uh, obese or overweight. So just the same things that impact diabetes are yeah. the same risk factors that are there for the eye. Uh, yeah. So I think that what I do is when I see a patient with a DME, I say control your blood sugars, the rest I will check. So make sure that if you have DME, do not get scared. DME is treatable if it's diagnosed and evaluated. So if you are seeing an ophthalmologist or a retina specialist, I have patients who have maintained vision with DME because they came at the right time. And yeah. there's many different ways to treat it, but don't be feared and don't let the disease put you down because you will win if you take care of your sugars, but also get help. So get help if you have it and do not worry about it. We will, we will make sure that you are taken care of. That's awesome. So, you know, I tell people all other time, especially my men of color, you know, do not be afraid to go get checked up, right? So make sure you stay on top of your eye visits, your healthcare and all of that stuff. So that's really important, I think, for you to say as a the doctor is to don't worry about it because you will take care care of it. But I think a lot of people, they get scared, like like myself, when I first got diagnosed, I was scared, right? Because you think having type two is going to be this death sentence because you'd like witness the pe people lose legs, lose their vision and all that stuff. So it's nice to hear from a medical professional like your like yourself to, you know, for people out there to, you know, to just be calm and to trust the medical advice that you have and to not worry, right? Because that's one of the biggest things I think people do worry about when they have it is all those complications that come along with, with it. So thank you so much for saying that, Doc. I really hope it touched some folks out there. It's team effort and couldn't do it without you, couldn't do it without all the doctors involved. So keep up the good work and beat diabetes. Don't let it beat you. Yes, sir. 